at 7,000 RPM where everything fades. The machine becomes weightless, just disappears. And all that's left is a body moving through space and time. 7,000 RPM, that's where you meet it. You feel it coming, it creeps up on you close to your ear, asks you a question, the only question that matters. Who are you? Hey, what are you doing here? Steven, and this is FWP Reviews. Today I'm going to be talking about one of the greatest racing movies, or perhaps one of the greatest movies ever made. That movie is Ford vs. Ferrari. Without further ado, let's speed right into it. Speed? Get it? You get it. As is the usual with any of my FWP essential videos, I'm going to start out with the themes of this movie. This movie has many themes that are related to creation and man versus the corporate machine. One instance of this is how we see the continual struggle against the Ford Motor Company while they are trying to create this Ford GT. We see in depth the creation of this car and the team's dedication to making it as fast as possible. Despite this, we see Ford's management continually trying to meddle in the project and thinking that if they're in charge, it'll turn out better. This movie serves as a not so subtle reminder about why that would definitely not be true. We see the value of this creation to the people who are part of its team. It shows what can be done when human engineering is pushed to the absolute limit. This doesn't focus solely on just the racing. It focuses on everything it takes to get a car like this to run at the limit for up to 24 hours, and it also focuses on the humanity behind it. This movie talks a lot about the pursuit of a craft. The craft in this movie is obviously racing, winning, and achieving that perfect lap. In these times, it is clear that several people died every year in pursuit of this craft. This dedication to the pursuit of speed went so far as to put your own life on the line, and this movie makes that very thematically valuable. This movie puts forth a lot of effective messages about pride and having pride in what you do. How can you take pride in something without giving it your all? What's the point of doing anything if you can't say that you take pride in it? This lack of pride can lead to a mundane life. The message ultimately is go out there, find your passion, pursue it, and master it. Next up, I'll go over the filmmaking. A movie like this requires a mastery of many things. Cinematography is required to capture the speed. Sound mixing and editing are of the utmost importance for the movie's atmosphere. The sweeping shots as well as the up-close shots give us a mind-blowing view of the racing as it unfolds. You can just feel the speed of these cars as they streak past. There are almost two different styles in this movie. There's one that follows the racing. The other follows the creation, reflection, and lives of the teams. The cinematography reflects these two very well, as well as sets the pace. The sound editing and mixing in this movie is absolutely insane. The roar of the engines sends chills down any racing fan's spine. It is accurate and doesn't add unnecessary revving to create drama that is not really needed. It just makes it like a real race, and that is enough to make it extremely compelling. The cast is absolutely brilliant. I love everyone in this movie. From Tracy Letts to Matt Damon to John Bernthal, everyone knocks it out of the park. These three and the rest of the cast do an outstanding job. Despite this, there is a show stealer in this movie, and his name is Christian Bale. I think everybody can agree that Christian Bale is brilliant, but I think that this role is very special. He absolutely nails the temperament and knowledge of Ken Miles. He has so many incredibly effective moments in this movie, but one that sticks out to me is when he has his father-son moment on the runway after his first big crash of the movie. It's absolutely brutal and heart-wrenching. It reminds us of what these racers are risking to achieve something extraordinary. This bodes well for the compelling nature of the movie. Matt Damon does an awesome job as Carol Shelby and helps fill in the holes that Christian Bale doesn't. We see him fighting his personal demons while also fighting for somebody to get the spotlight who deserves it because he knows that he may never have that opportunity again. And then this final segment, we're going to get into why this movie is an FWP essential. Ford vs. Ferrari holds a special place in my heart because it's a portrait of one of the most intense and inspiring eras of racing. Racing, aside from movies, is my favorite thing in the entire world. The pure adrenaline pumping speed and precision that is required to be good at racing, whether it be driving the car, calling strategy, or working on the car, is inspiring. This time period also required an extra risk. Many, far too many drivers died during this era, all in the pursuit of one thing, speed. We see this risk carry today, but thanks to many advancements in safety on these cars, we don't see it at the magnitude we did back then. 
Showing the commitment to speed despite its risk is a very effective part of this movie. This movie does everything right as just a general movie, and that leads me to really have no complaints about it. Thus, when you combine an already awesome movie with a passion of mine, well, you get a recipe for excellence. All right, so that's gonna wrap up my video on Ford versus Ferrari. Be sure to check out my Instagram at fwpreviews100 for daily written reviews. Be sure to subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.